welcome back to our channel. My name is Christina. This is my husband. I'm Emmanuel. And we are first time parents. We are getting ready oh. to welcome our baby boy. This is Duncan. This is also our golden doodle puppy. He's often in our videos. He's not invited on this intro. We are in full on nesting modes. We are getting everything ready for baby who will be here in a few short weeks. And one of the things that we still needed to unbox and get ready is our bassinet. So we just got our bedside bassinet in and we basically wanted to like unbox it for you guys put it together show you exactly how to use it and if you are considering getting a halo bassinet this is the video for you let's get it we got the package but we haven't brought it upstairs yet we haven't even opened it so we're gonna open it for you guys and what is it the halo bassinet halo bassinet <laughs> review and unboxing and everything else let's do it boom I just brought Bassinest Swivel Sleeper into the house. And first impression is this bad boy is heavy. Let's give it a lift. I don't think many people will want to carry this upstairs. Like, what if we want to move it from like upstairs to downstairs? I'm a pretty strong guy. Ah, that's hard to do. I'm out of breath. Why is everything related to this baby these days a oh, workout? So you know, guys, you have to start training early if you want to be able to lift the bassinet. When the time comes, start doing your cardio, start doing your biceps and your triceps, so you can put this bad boy together. So Mano said this was heavy, so he wanted me to see if I could lift it. The answer is no. I assume when it's put together, we're gonna be like pushing it. Or maybe it's just gonna be in like one place the entire time. I don't think we're gonna be like lifting it. I think it's gonna be next to the bed the whole time. Let's unbox it. Let's unbox it. So we are going to unbox this Halo bassinet and first we gotta open this big old box. Watch your face, Duncan. Also, I puppy Duncan wants to be a part of every AD project that we've been doing lately. He wants to be all up in it, right, bud? And what is this? Is this for you? Oh. It's a box in a box! Box in a box! Alright, let's try this again. Another box. So, so far, I know that this is the actual pad that goes on the box where baby actually like lays down. The rest of this, I think is like the whole structure and it looks really heavy. This is what's heavy. Clearly this not heavy. Maybe it's already built. I have this like custom platform you use, but it's like on a piece of wood already. Maybe that just goes in a piece of plastic. That's the heavy part. Oh. I think this is the tools. These are the legs. This is all trash. I think this is trash. Hello? We have two boxes, mattress, these two big heavy boy pieces. Let's build it. So far, we have needed scissors and I believe a screwdriver is necessary as well. I don't see any instructions. I'm not good without instructions, but I'm assuming that you just like snap all of this together and it's pretty simple to do. Instructions, it's, it's attached to this. Okay. Don't worry, I'm on it. This is where the like screws are. So there's only gonna be five screws in here. It must be pretty simple to put together. We'll be the judge of that. I don't know if we said this already, but we got the Halo Bassiness Swivel Sleeper. So there's a couple different like Halo models. They have like just like the lower level one, the one that like plays the music and stuff. We just got like, the one in the middle. So I'm pretty sure this is like the essential model. They have a Premiere and they have a Lux. Maybe we got, did we get the most basic one? There was a more basic, more basic. one on Amazon that you just like slid so we didn't really need the noise like we were gonna have a sound machine so we really didn't need the vibration or the sounds we just wanted to swivel it next to our bed oh wait i gotta read the instructions all right there's like 10 instructions that you have to do and since we have like the essential just like the regular swivel slider some of them don't even apply so i think all that you need is like a phillips screwdriver and step number one just says remove everything from the carton and discard all packaging step one crush it step one complete also it says note all red using a screwdriver remove wooden board affixed to the bottom of the base post discard wooden board with four screws so this thing that you were lifting up we have to get rid of that why do they put this on my there? question is why did you attach this board in the first place hey well i see you you, All right. to, you want to protect the integrity of your product i get it i get it so if you can maybe like stick this bad boy in a piece of styrofoam i prefer it you know what i mean this is a lot of screwing board off with feet facing down attach the legs to the base using new large screws provided so now you just snap all these like legs into this thing. <laughs> so it's like a little claw. Got to get this bar oh, wait, that's right underneath that claw. There's a big hole and then there's a small hole. Do it with the big hole up. Now you got that foundation in there pretty tight. So once you have the structure built, then you're going to put the actual sleeper part on top. We need to expose the railing holes. Railing holes have been exposed. Railing holes. 
Railing poles. I think it's heavy. So far, I would say this is not overly complicated to build, but it is pretty awkward to build. Like, all we put it on the side so far, there's not many pieces, there's like four screws to do. Not too bad so far, right? Not too bad. Not too bad. We're now on step eight, which is attach the sleep area to the base. So put this thing on this thing. It's just gonna click. Show them. Oh wait, I can't lift it. This thing is heavy. This back thing, this thing is heavy. All right, guys, we're going off road. This little thing isn't that heavy. This like, thing is heavy. That's not as when heavy as When you're pregnant, it's heavy. It's making me do all the work. Are you ready for the click? Oh! Nice. Okay. Swivel action, 360. So I think you just put this in, and this is like the little sheet cover that you use as well. I'm pretty sure this is washable, it feels like it. So it literally took four screws that were unnecessary. The base did not need a platform. And then you screw in those four legs and then those four legs have four screws and then everything else just kind of snaps into place. All you need is a screwdriver and maybe a pair of scissors to open the box. I don't know what she's doing. Hey babe, what are you doing over there? I'm trying to put the sheet on. It's all, it's all really The struggle bus. You got the uh, pillowcase on yet? Got the mattress cover on? <laughs> yes, I thought you weren't gonna get up. You're like, I'm staying down here. All done. All done. I think now we take it up to the bedroom to see how it works next to the bed. Because I'm pretty sure this also like adjusts up and down based on how tall your bed is. But I like the swivel action. Woo! Yeah, yeah. All right, we're done here. So now that it's put together and we want to see, hey, babe, can you take the bassinet upstairs for me? And then I'm gonna say, sure, honey. And then I'm gonna lift it. Oh, okay, note to self, this goes up really high. Whoa, so it sounds like I gotta pick this up from the base. Ah! All right, I mean, it's heavy, but like, you don't really want this thing to be light. It's carrying your child. It's up the stairs. I think that getting it from room to room is slightly annoying. Like, I don't think you would ever take this in it's different places of your house. I, mean, I think it would just live in your bedroom the whole time. Well, First impression, these legs are pretty wide. So getting them through the door, maybe I could have done a little bit better. Now, I think you basically just want to put it like up against the bed. The thing that I really cared about is how high it is compared to where we'll actually be sleeping. This is actually really heavy. I think you just put it in one place and don't move it ever. Because I can't imagine moving this because I can't pick it up. I think you need your husband to do this for you because this is really challenging. Don't worry, baby, here I come. So the Halo Bassinet, like it looks really nice and I think it's gonna be great once we actually have it next to the bed, but it's really heavy and it's hard to move. But I think if it just like remains in that one place, it's totally fine. This is actually a manual side of the bed, but let's just pretend I'm in bed. I'm here and baby's gonna be right here. You just adjust it. Whoa. Oh no, that seat, do not secure. Do not push this button. Okay, so you are learning all the tips right now. If you're about to get a Halo Bassinet, don't hit that button, not good. It adjusts pretty easily you just turn this nozzle i don't know if you guys can see this but you just turn this nozzle and it'll tighten it in place so now it's tight at this height and our bed's pretty big so you want it level you want it i thought you want it like on the bed no not on the bed too close and too high so once you have it set up it looks like it like went up and down like a mango show you it goes up and down really easily so i think it needs to be over here closer but it's basically the height of our bed we have a king bed regular box springs and then the nice part is this little thing goes down so if you're like oh baby you don't have to like go over and in you kind of just can push this down and grab a baby we don't have a baby here right now yet but you know you get the point i want her to feel like it's the real thing so i'm gonna give her this as the baby oh hey babe i got the baby here you go <laughs> So oh. here's our baby. Put the baby in the bassinet. See, the nice part is it swivels, like we were saying. So it swivels if you need to. This part bends down, perfect. Going back to bed, perfect. There's also even this little pocket here that I assume that you'd want to put like little baby things, maybe like an extra diaper or two. I think the nice part is you can also rotate to get out of bed. So I'm like, oh, gotta get out of bed. Rotate baby bassinet. Here I go, bassinet back. Oh, gotta get back into the bed, rotate. I don't think you're ever gonna move this actual structure based on how heavy it is. I'm pretty sure this is just gonna stay here, but the nice part is it swivels. So I think it's really sturdy. Like, I don't think it's going anywhere. I don't feel like it wobbles. I mean, this thing moves, but you can also lock this into place. So there's a button on the side here. If you want this thing to go down, or if you want to lock it in place, just lift this up. This thing has like a lock action. You just stick this thing up and now it's locked, can't go down. But again, you probably want this to go up and down automatically. There you go. But can you lock it down? Uh, let me see, lock. 
Nope, there's no like locking forever mechanism. Because I think they don't want you to do that so that your dog can't get up, so you can't just have easy access to baby. I think you want it to be up the whole time so whenever you're sleeping, baby is secure. Yeah, I don't think there's ever a reason you would want this like permanently down. Probably right? not. First thing that I care about relative to the bassinet is what's the assembly like? I will say that it needed two items, a screwdriver and a pair of scissors. And the pair of scissors is only to open the box. So you only need the screwdriver. That was dangerous. That Don't was try that. really dangerous. Don't try that at all. So overall, number one, super easy to put together. Number two, actually like getting it to our room and next to our bed. How fun was that to get that upstairs? <sighs> I'm sweating. I think we probably should have built it in the bedroom. I think overall moving it is not good. I don't think overall you move that bassinet at all. But then we still would have had to carry the box all the way upstairs. That's right. Take the box all the way upstairs because once that thing is put together and it's got these long tentacle arms that are just like bumping and everything, just build it upstairs. Number three, I really like though how sturdy it is. So I feel like the legs, although they are like pretty, they're pretty long legs that kind of stick out in your room. They can push underneath your bed and it just felt really, really sturdy. So even when you were adjusting the height, I think it goes like, it's like two feet difference that it basically adjusts. So way higher yeah. than our bed. So no matter like what height your bed is, I'm pretty sure it'll work. But I just felt like it was sturdy no matter what level you were at, which I think is really important. What was the weight on it? So we didn't know what the weight was for the actual bassinet, but you just looked it up and how much does it weigh? 45 pounds. I don't think they're going to be moving at all. Especially like for me, like I am like 34 weeks pregnant right now. I can't physically move it without getting on the also ground pregnant. <laughs> getting on the ground like really pushing it and i can't imagine after giving birth being able to move it either so have somebody set it up for you exactly where you need it and luckily it moves and swivels so you can just kind of leave it there the whole day long but if you want to use it for like day purposes i think you should get another pack and play or something else that's just gonna be like in a different space okay we're both gonna give our final thoughts on the halo emmanuel you're up all right, I'm gonna do like a five out of 10 type of scenario. Okay. I'm gonna give the Halo bassinet a nine out of 10. The only reason why I'm giving it a nine instead of a 10 is because they put four extra screws on this bad boy that were unnecessary. <laughs> I think I would give it like a eight or nine out of 10. The reason why I wouldn't give it a 10 is because it's really heavy. So I don't feel like you can move it. That's not something that I could like take with me if I go to my mom's house or we go anywhere else. We literally are not going to be transporting that Halo bassinet anywhere. But I do really like the ease of it swiveling like 360. I feel like it's gonna be great for us as new parents. So I highly recommend it. And I think that the base model is all that you need. I know that the other models have like the sound, like a little vibration. I don't know if we're gonna need that or not. Of course, we're first time parents. So like we don't know yet, but I don't think that you really need to spend the extra money for it. I think that the model that we got, perfectly fine. I also think that there should be a way to collapse the entire thing because after five months, I'm like, where are we gonna store that? You would basically have to take it apart. And it doesn't, it's not very hard to take it apart. Take it apart, put it in, a, I guess, a box. It'd be great if it came with like a backpack or something like, and, and all the pieces folded into each other. That's not how it's Yeah. Built. Halo, if you want to build one like a travel system, I feel like there could be a lighter, more collapsible version, but then I don't know if it would be as sturdy. So if you're looking for just a piece of furniture that you're going to have in your bedroom, that's not going to move. I feel like it's really good. If you want something that's more portable or, or for storage travel. storage friendly even. I think you would maybe go with a pack and play or just a really, really basic backpack bassinet but it's not going to swivel so i think it's worth it to get the halo or at least we feel that way for being first time parents and so we will keep you guys posted whenever we actually have baby and have been using it for a little bit and then we can it. let you guys know how we actually use it every single day cheers guys oh and one more thing we also got a second bassinet because i couldn't decide what bassinet to get between the halo which i heard is the most popular and then i also got recommended another one from baby delight so we have another bassinet to actually unbox i don't know if he knows he's about to have to build another one so if you are interested in learning more about the other bassinet make sure to watch the other video i will link it in the description for you guys and then we will also be comparing each one because we have to send one back we cannot keep two bassinets we want it to be Basically get both, build them, see which one we like the best. So do we already know which bassinet we're actually going to pick? At the time that we're filming this video, we have only used the Halo one so far. So we don't actually know. So if this is the first video that you're watching, check in the description. That's where the other ones will be, as well as our comparison between the two where we decide which one we are actually keeping. Peace. <laughs> that means you bye. Say bye guys. Oh, let me get my baby. Oh, let me get my baby. Or you can lock it into place. Oh, let me get the baby. Oh, let me get the baby.
You think we could put Duncan in there and see if he is? Absolutely not. I think there's a weight limit. What's the max capacity? Can I get in there? A five pound dog does not reach the weight mm -hmm. limit.